human beings aren't born. Human beings are made. ultimate self-absorption of our age is the self-hatred of our age. The belief that nothing we can say or do can help but screw things up even worse. And I think the reason is not because there's something fundamentally wrong with people who look like me. It's in the nature of being human to forget how to be one on occasion. It's in the nature of being human that nobody's born that way. Every culture worthy of the word culture has always practiced human making, I think without exception. It's not like indigenous people are good people and the rest of us are lost. They have the same dilemmas we have. They have found a way, an understanding of being human that includes the temporary amnesia around being one. And so it has to be taught. Those are the colors of this time of year. If you got hay fever, you're pretty much dead. But, but otherwise, it's a handsome sight. And then that ages old view of the teepee on that little hill there. This is one of the first places we stayed when we bought the place because we had no house or anything. You know, the beautiful things, sometimes things happen in your life you're not looking at all. I know I wasn't looking for anything like this. I naively thought of it in those days probably as some kind of meeting place or some kind of gathering where the standard lunges towards sanity could be somehow replaced by something that was a little more akin to learning. But that's all I thought. I, and of course, that's just thinking because it's certain that'll never happen. Because who else is dreaming such a dream? So we got this place and started to grow a few little things and keep our head down. And I'll bet anything it was Natalie who uh, started to dream out loud about, you know, we could do something like that. And people would want to learn something of what you're talking about, and we could feed them from here. And I said, nobody ever come. What? Nobody ever come. I just stopped being somewhere else. That's all. I just stopped being somewhere else for a while. Now this is what it looks like. So, five years later, here we are and they are coming from all over North America. There's a lot of confusion amongst young people about what they're supposed to do with themselves. A constant, beneath the surface sense that it's not supposed to be like this. We are taught that we are the problem. Life would be better if there were less humans and, and maybe no humans. Human beings aren't born. Human beings are made. And how do you make humans? And the answer is, well, you gotta kill off their childhood. Because why? Because the childhood doesn't give way, that's why. And then you need a culture that proceeds as if the greatest gift you can give to kids at a certain age is give them the chance to be human. Human beings are here to make sure that life lives, that the world somehow continues. Whether your personal life continues or not is not the bottom line of it. 
And that's the beginning of you growing up. To see the death of what you love and to be willing to continue to love it when it's not going to last, that itself is an act of love. And if what I'm talking about is the culture that gave you your, your existence, your identity and so forth, yeah, that's, that's what you do. That's your last great act of love is to see it, see it down. That could be part of the story. <laughs>